So Apple explains why the 2024 Mac Mini M4 has the power button on the bottom. Here it is. And you can see where the power button is. It's at the back left bottom. Odd? Nah, not really. I don't think so. I honestly don't use the power button on any computer system, whether it's a Mac or PC or, you know, whatever. I hardly ever use it because it's usually always left on. And when it is left on, it just goes into standby mode anyway, or sleep mode or some kind of hibernation mode. So I never really use the power button aside from having to force a restart or update the system. But let's go through this article. And as always, please remember to follow the link that I will provide in the YouTube description down below and have a read through it. So here is the Mac Mini, mine. I've just kind of slapped everything together here on this unit. I got it yesterday and I pretty much have it all set up. I got a few more things coming, uh, but it all works perfectly. So again, the power button, it's not at the front, it's not on the sides, it's not on the top, it's not on the back. It is at the back left bottom of the unit. And if I was or wanted to turn this thing off, I would have to flip it literally upside down or at least on its side to use that power button. Now, in some cases, that could pose a problem, right? It really depends on your use case. But the smaller footprint of the new Mac Mini necessitated a more efficient use of space. Most users typically leave their Mac Minis powered on. I leave, like I said before, all my systems on unless I need to somehow force a restart or update it using sleep mode when not in use or, you know, it goes into some kind of hibernation state or whatever. And the power button, you know, is really only used in situations where you really, really need to actually use it. Now, I'm sure there are some situations where, you know, you need to power this thing up and down a few times a day. But for most people, I don't think that is a problem. And as well, the button can be easily accessed by by tucking a finger underneath the device. Your finger would have to be very small to do so, but you can do that. Just tuck your finger underneath it and you know push up and you'll be able to power it off. You really, I suppose, don't need to completely flip the unit on its side or you know all the way over to do that as long as you know and you can feel where it is. And here is just one of probably many power switch options that will be released. This is one that I found here on AliExpress. Now, I am not getting this because, like I said, I don't turn the unit off ever unless I really, really need to. But how this works is the buttons on the top here, but it, you can see, goes to the bottom switch, right? So when you press at the top, it triggers the bottom button which is on the mac to actuate and then that button can turn the unit off or restart it so how do you feel about apple putting the power button on the bottom of the new mac mini m4 let us know in the comments